Hello, I'm Tony Ko, the host of Talk IT Global. Amid the sudden wave of AI, many companies are struggling to figure out the right direction for enterprise AI. In today's seminar, I'd like to share the three pieces of advice that Andrew Ang, founder of Google Brain and leading AI scholar at Stanford, recently offered to organizations adopting AI at a Snowflake event. Among them, Andrew Ang emphasizes that the biggest opportunity lies in the enormous amount of PDF-based unstructured data stored inside companies. Once AI-powered document extraction technology unlocks the value hidden in this massive data and connects it with a company's existing structured data, the level of decision-making and automation inside the enterprise will fundamentally change. Personally, I believe that as physical AI becomes more widespread, the unstructured data generated by enterprises, such as audio and video, will amplify this opportunity even further. One mega trend is uh, we've spent the last 20 years you, know, you guys have done been a big part of this. Architecting structured data, a big unlock is going to be unstructured data mm -hmm. that AI can mm -hmm. finally make sense of. And I have a weird focus on one type of unstructured data. It turns out, I think the single most valuable form of unstructured data, dark data sitting in all of our businesses, is PDF files. Yep. I, I know it sounds dumb, but <laughs> we have so many of them. So I've been actually really excited about some of the work that my friend Dan Maloney has been doing on agentic doc extraction yep. to take these massive troves of PDF files in finance, healthcare, you know, giant financial tables, healthcare forms, sitting in there, tons of value, and you can extract it out with agentic doc extraction. It, um, the number of use cases I'm seeing skyrocket. There are other types of unstructured <laughs> data that are valuable too, but PDF files has been a, is a surprisingly big one. The second piece of advice, when building AI, the first thing a company should focus on is not technology or cost, but creating features that users immediately feel are absolutely necessary. So for a lot of new innovative projects, so you know, my, my team at AI Fund build a lot of new startups. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge is um, identifying building a product that customers love, not cost. <laughs> You're saying product so market fits the product ultimate. Product market fit <laughs> first. So what, what I'll often do is you know, just do whatever uh, uh, just work to build that good product. Yeah. And then sometimes we've been fortunate to hit product market fit, and then you know the costs start climbing, and then it starts to look scary in terms of the cost. Okay. But at that time, we often find engineering methods to then bend the cost curve back down. So, oh, there's one other thing I tend to do. We do tend to do a little bit of work upfront yeah. to architect for choice, for, for downstream mm -hmm. model optionality, mm -hmm. uh, which you can often do with just a little bit of extra work. Um, yeah. And then, Frankly, the costs come down so fast enough that it's a wonderful problem to have, which I have had a couple times. But you know, not that I wish I had that problem more often. There were so many users that, that the costs are climbing. Um, it's wonderful you can get to that problem. Because the future of AI is changing incredibly fast, the most important strategy for companies today is optional flexibility, the ability to choose. Andrew Eng stresses that the key to achieving this is owning your own data layer. Owning your own data layer turns out to be a really important part of that. That's right. So there are a lot of you know, SaaS vendors, right? I won't name any, but whenever you hire a SaaS vendor, many of them will try to create a silo inside That's your right. own organization. I call it box in a cloud. I see. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's, it's different, yeah. So I find that, um, of course, you need some place to host your data, but if you can control your own data and hire vendors to operate on your data, it gives you a lot more optionality to then swap vendors, do other things with it in the future. It makes sense for everyone to learn to code. And don't code by hand, don't do the old way. Get AI to help you to code, and that will make people in all job functions uh, much more productive and have more fun. Lastly, your likes and subscriptions greatly empower us to continue creating content. Thank you for your support.